We just talked about copying and pasting automation, and I'm using that to segue into region automation. So what's the difference between region automation and track automation? Well, in track automation, you have this long, linear, contiguous track. If I make a point here and move that point up, you'll see that there's all kinds of other parts of other regions that are being affected by that move that I just did. If I select a region, and instead of using track automation, I click and it turns to region automation. Now I'm only going to automate within this region. And you'll see that the line is no longer contiguous. It doesn't move through all of the regions, right? So if I click here, it's creating a point. But on the region before it, this point is not affecting that region before it. Some people really prefer to work this way. So what I can do is at the end of this phrase, maybe I want to have a little delay on it. Elemental if I copy the region, I hold the Option and copy this over. Of course, it copies all the automation with it. There we go. So all of the automation is actually region-based. It's sitting inside that region. And that's pretty cool. A lot of people like to work that way. They, instead of thinking of these long, linear uh, vector lines, they like to work region to region, which is pretty cool, especially when you're copying regions from track to track. And if you want to do things that don't affect things down or upstream when you're when you're making changes on certain parameters. And after a while, when you have a whole bunch of parameters, it can be a little squirrely trying to keep everything in line. Make sure that no no one like volume parameter, let's say, if, if a part doesn't come in until much later in the piece and you're using track automation, it could be that the one the last point of automation that you did and the point that's going to start you know, down the line, you know, way down in your piece, they might be off, but you can't really tell because the line is changing so gradually over time. So doing region-based automation is pretty cool, especially when you have a lot of regions that are kind of widely spaced apart. Um, I kind of like to do things that way. One thing that's kind of important is to decide which automation is going to take precedence over the other, because you can have both track automation. I can switch this back to track automation, and you'll see that there's Still, I could, you know, maybe do a line in here. And I can flip back and forth between track and region automation. So as you imagine, there's going to be a fight going on between the region and the track automation. So what we can do is we can actually say that um, we can either have the region automation take priority over the track automation or the track automation take priority over the region automation. And that's in your project settings under automation, region automation takes priority over track automation. So if we view this now, we saw that other line I created in there. But when I hit play, you'll note that the parameter only changes over here. Elemental emotion. No fight at all worked out just fine. Next, I'd like to show you something that's kind of special. It's going to be one of those aha moments of this course, and it's something that I doubt people know about. I'm not even going to say what it is. No, I will. And I, well, I'll say what it has to do with. Something to do with Apple Loops. <laughs> 